Hello my dear friends, I hope you are doing great. Welcome to another great video and lesson here on English Fit. In this lesson, I want to speak about the word wish. How to express and use wish in English. Here in this video, I'm going to teach you how to use wish in different situations. So guys, are you ready? Let's get started. My dear friends, we use wish to say that we regret something or we would like something to be different than the way it is. Okay, my dear friends, let's speak about the first form. In the first form, wish usually comes with simple past. So we have wish and we have simple past. So here we want the situation in the present or in the future to be different. For example, I wish I ate more vegetables. So I want the situation in the present or in the future to be different. Okay guys, let's speak about the second form of wish. In the second form, wish usually comes with past continuous. So we usually have wish plus past continuous. So guys, we use it to say that we want to be doing a different activity in the present or future. For example, I wish it weren't raining now, but it's raining, but I wish it weren't raining now. So guys, we use wish and past continuous when we want to be doing a different activity in the present or future. And the third form with wish is wish plus past perfect. So in this form, guys, we have wish plus past perfect. We use this form when we want to be able to change a situation in the past, but I think we can't. So when we want to change a situation in the past, we use wish and past perfect. For example, I wish I hadn't done it, but I did it. I wish I hadn't done it. So my dear friends, we use wish and past perfect when we want to be able to change a situation in the past. And in the fourth form, we usually use wish with would. Yes, and this is a most common form. So wish and we have would. Wish usually comes with the word would. So guys, here we want something to happen or we want someone to start doing something or we want someone to stop doing something that annoys us. So in these situations, we usually use wish with the word would. For example, I wish the lesson would end or I wish you would listen to me. Or, for example, I wish you wouldn't borrow my clothes. So, as you can see, we want something to happen or we want someone to start or stop doing something. In these situations, we use would and actually wish. And guys, in the last form, we usually use the word would with to infinitive. So here, would comes with to infinitive. Let me give you some examples and speak about this form. My dear friends, keep in mind that we can also use wish to express want in a formal situation. For example, I wish to make a complaint and would like to see the manager. Yes, I wish to make a complaint. And that's it, guys. As you can see, we use the word wish in different situations and I hope you enjoyed learning this grammatical point. And don't forget to subscribe for weekly lesson. We will be back with a new lesson. Have a great time. Oh yeah, I hope you enjoyed learning English with us. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you wouldn't miss the new lessons. You can watch our new lessons on Sundays and Thursdays. Find our new English online courses at EnglishFitCourses.com. See you in the next lesson.